I heard you like unreleased products. So today I thought we would do a, a special little um, video to break up the G3 reviews. I'll still do them once I find more Chase Pokemon. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to be doing a, an old school review. And we're going to be going through three different years of Bakugan G2, or Reboot, or Battle Planet through Legends. Whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to go through. And maybe we'll make it a mini-series, because uh, I have a, a couple of clearance things that we're going to be going through before we get to the unreleased product. All these were on clearance, all of them were on uh, discounted prices. But we're going to be going um, from smallest to biggest back. You know, starting with a regular three pack, then going to a bigger pack, and then we're going to end it off with the unreleased product. All of these were uh, found at a discount. The first two items were found at Target for half off, and the last item is found at Burlington for, I believe, 15 bucks, uh, which I, be I believe is around half off. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to dub this series uh, ba 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 Baku, Baku, Baku Deals. Just add Baku in front of any word, and it'll work. I don't know how long this series will really last, because, well, um, there's not that many deals that's going to happen. This is only happening because they try to r get rid of product to get in the new G3 stuff on shelves as soon as possible. So I don't know how often this will actually happen. But if I find a product that is uh, on sale or pretty cheap, then I'll let you guys know. So first up, we got this Legends 3-pack, the Dumork Ultra and Aralus. Got this bad puppy for 10.49 at Target on clearance. And so is everything else from G2. So go ahead and peek it, take a look. See if you miss anything from Legends, you could probably get it all for really cheap now. I just thought of a great uh, catchphrase for this uh, series if I do continue it. Oh my god, they're beautiful. I get to look at actual character cards. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, tears out of the way. Uh, here is the Ultra Demork Arliss character card. Comes with two helixes, uh, 1000 base B, and two base damage. Not a bad Arliss, uh, but you could probably find better. In fact, you can find better. Just go with Aquos uh, Neo Trox. And then we have Hayes Barbetra. Um, two Green Fists, 500 base B, 5 base damage, and plus 500 B on a Green Fist. It's unfortunate that they got rid of the character cards right when I started recording this new way, because this is so much easier, Just instead of just reaching all the way out and pointing at the camera with my hands shaking. I could actually see it, but uh, anyway... Darkest Colossus comes with an orange shield and a green fist, 500 base B, 2 base damage, and on the green fist you add a core and plus 100 B when you have an orange shield. None of these cores are really good, but I'll flash them really quick while I rant for a bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, I kind of will miss this character cards going over them, saying the viability of the Bakugan and all that, because that was really the fun part of the GCG. But of course there are some products I haven't got, I don't really have all the products yet. But I will soon, eventually, hopefully, hopefully, and I will review them. And it'll kind of be like a throwback with the mix of G3 in there and a bit of G2. And of course, I'll still be making videos on the TCG. Uh, but just, uh, it won't be as prevalent because, you know, they're not actively in stores or will very shortly not be always in stores. But it, it is what it is, and I guess I just can't really harp on it for too long. Although I will miss the CCG and all the fun that I had with it. I'm saying that like no one plays it. Tons of people still play it. In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be entering an online tourney soon for one of the Discord servers I'm in, which sounds like a lot of fun. And it will be a lot of fun. But uh, eventually I hope that if I do get a, enough of a following and enough of a community, that we could also host our own tournaments with the TCG if people are still interested in it. Because I don't really think you could do the G3 game online unless I'm wrong. Who knows? They haven't really said how to play the new game yet, so... But going on to the toys, here is the man himself, Demork, looking pretty fresh. I don't mind this look at all. Definitely a better Arliss look. I feel like they definitely should have incorporated more black into their Arliss, especially when they were going to the cheese colors, because the cheese colors by themselves look terrible. Uh, and I'm just not a big fan of yellow or orange by itself, but black is a cool color. Or I guess shade, if you're one of those people. And here's Barbetra. Uh, for some reason, this one's translucent. No idea why. There's nothing on the character card that would suggest that. It's it's just kind of translucent for no reason, which I guess makes it kind of cool. It's like when you would get those packs with the random translucence in it from Legacy. Uh, but oh well, I like this mold, so I'm not gonna complain about it. it looks cool. Then we're gonna grab Colossus all the way over here. Yup, there he is. That's Colossus, all right. 
Oh my god, I could actually show off an ultra balancing now in a better quality, and I won't have to miss my rolls all the time because I'm actually like kind of focused in, except not really. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to roll an ultra, man. I miss them so much. Yeah, J three kids could never. Man, I've been spinning fucking Bakugan like Beyblades for so long. I just miss kind of rolling them like they're supposed to. What's with all these Bakugan thing? They could be Beyblades. Don't they know that they were born as Bakugan and can only roll as them? You're not some weird spinning thing. Everyone can tell what you real are. What if we just bully the Bakugan into turning back to regular balls instead of these weird amalgamations of Bakugan and Beyblades? Anyway, this is getting into weird territory, so I'm just going to move on to the next product. Then we got the next product coming up. This is actually from Evolutions. This is the Battle Amp Pack. I just noticed we're kind of going back into time. This is cool. Um, but yeah, this is the Battle Amp Pack. It's been out for a while, and you've probably seen them a lot at Targets, because, you know, I'm only at Target. But it's on clearance now. This is what I was waiting for. I really wanted the Twilight Axes in there, but I didn't want to full pay full price for some toys that I didn't want, and then one toy that I did want. Anyway, let's get right into the carriage cards. So first, we have Ultra Enoch. Ultra Enoch comes with uh, Fire Fist, Helix, 500 base B, and 9 base damage. Suited for damage when 15 damage, it can get up with its own core. Yada yada, pretty cool. Um, and then we have, this is what I wanted it for. Oh, not the card itself, but for the toy. The Twilight Axis, I already have a set of these. Rapid Fire, the second Rapid Strike card you play this turn is free. 300 base B, 3 base damage, uh, 4 energy to play. We can play for free with Rapid Fire. I like Rapid Fire, de Ooh, rapid fire decks. I'm talking really rapid. This is uh, the talent it comes with. 2 energy to play, 1300 uh, base B, 5 base damage. I think that's the Evolutions one. Or, no, sorry, the Geogun Rising one. And then we have uh, Fury. Comes with the... Uh, or, sorry. On a Fire Fist, you can remove a core. But on a Fire Fist and an uh, Orange Shield, you can remove... And get plus 200B. I already have this Ninogon. In fact, it's in one of my decks that I'm using. Uh, and then, so the weird thing is the um, the, the uh, Enoch is the evolution character card. But everything else is uh, older stuff. Like the Talon was Geogon Rising. This is Armored Alliance. And then some gate cards. Yay. And then cores. Sam, Bink, Boop, and Bop. We'll get into the toys now. Here's the Enoch. Right, that sure is Enoch. Um, not sure how much I like this one. Auxilitar. One of the best Bakugan, given one of the worst colors with this uh, cheesy Auxilitar. Here's the difference between them, uh, just because why not? Oh, that thing has a lot of cores on it. Here's a Talon. Uh, not my favorite Geogon, but not a bad one by any means. Looks okay. Here's the Fury. One of the worst looking Manogon in my opinion, but uh, oh well. The Twilight Axes. I'm actually going to show these off with Enoch. I didn't know when it's closed that it just makes one giant battle axe. That's pretty cool. And here is the Enoch all together with the Twilight Axes. Pretty damn cool. Man, I'm already getting nostalgia from the years that happened, like, only a few years ago. I really like these axes. They're pink. They're nice. They're well, more of a magenta, really. But they still look cool. That's, that's, yeah, that looks nice. I would roll the Enoch, but I am running out of time. So let's get straight into the big ticket item for today this is the unreleased uh geogon rising pack it is kind of clickbaity to, uh, click to say that it's unreleased in the thumbnail and in the title oops sorry just punched you for a bit but uh here's the thing all right i need views and technically it's not if you think about it it's not really released i don't count it as released unless it hit stores like uh big big ticket stores like target and walmart but this kind of just released because they needed to make inventory space. So they were just like, here, sell these for a discounted price. A $15 price. So they weren't really supposed to be released. So technically, it's not really clickbaiting. I'm just saying that to save my ass later when people get mad. But uh, yeah, you could probably pick these up at Burlington. They're not completely unreleased like all the other unreleased stuff that I've found. I say all the other. It's, it was only one that I reviewed. But even then, I think you could find that at stores somewhere in the U.S. Jesus. All right, really, guys, speed two, three here. I, I am a little busy right now, so we're just going to boom, 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 
uh, boom, boom. Those were stuck together. I'm really bad at planning things ahead, so I'm kind of have to hurry now. So I'm sorry that this has to go through pretty quickly, but that's just how it is. You're gonna have to live with it. We'll go with the Garrett cards and more depth. These are just gate cards. Okay. Chaos and Fog. Six energy, 1700 base B, six base damage, and on a Fire Fist, you get 900 B. And Aqua's Titan King, 4 energy, 1300 base B, 6 base damage. On a Green Fist, you get 1000 B. On an Orange Shield, you get 3 Frost Strike. And then we have some action cards. Let's fucking go. Uh, Flash Assault, 2 energy, plus 5 damage. Cloak Defense is actually a nice one. 4 energy for a scan and 3 draw. Fusion, Titanic Fusion Wave Maker. I think this makes it... I think this is... Completes my set of Titanic Fusion Wave Maker, which is good. Four energy for one thousand base or plus one thousand B. Searing Vent to Stun. Uh, four damage for or four energy for twelve damage. Man, I really am just speeding right now. I'm so sorry. And then ooh, Eldritch Darkest Doom. Two energy for seven m minus seven hundred B. I actually really needed that card because uh, I uh, it's a good card. Then the character cards: Harperion. Magic Shield and a Green Fist, then 600 base B, 2 base damage, and on a Magic Shield you get 1 Frost Strike. Oxidox, you uh, have uh, 2 Orange Shield, 700 base B, 2 base damage, and on Victor, draw 1. Spartillion, you get a Helix and an Orange Shield, in 500 damage, 1 base... Oh, fuck. 500 base B, 1 base damage. And on a helix, you get plus seven damage. None of these are very viable, but it's just kind of cool to have it in your collection, especially this uh, Titan King, especially for this card. This is a good card. It's basically Power Obliterator, but in verse. We will be looking at the toys. Don't worry about that. And especially this Titan King. Mmm, this one's crisp. I've really grown to Titan King now that I actually own one. And uh, yeah, I think he's probably my favorite uh Jogon now friendship ended with high enix titan king's now my new best friend and then chaos and frog i actually have a a history with chaos and frog if anyone remembers my first video was going over in chaos and frog to complete my ultimate vilock 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 now for the bakugan uh arlis oxidox oh yeah old old arlis is so good well year two year three specifically Damn, that gold so nice. Why would they ever change off of this? Look at the silver and the black accents. God damn. Shit's blinging. Then hey, I have Sarperion. Don't own many of these. I think I just have a diamond version. So that's kind of cool. I don't know why I put them down. I haven't really given them a good rundown. Yeah, hey, has colors looks nice. Uh, year three colors all looked fine. There was no there was no problems with that. Then Spartillion. Uh, they made one for Legends, which I do own. And they also have this one, which uh, is, is alright. This one's definitely not as viable as the other one, but this one's still fine. I like Spartillion. I wish I had the Elemental or Diamond versions, because those look so good. Actually, I do own one of the Diamonds from Legends, I believe. But the other ones just looks on a different level. You guys want to see the messes down here? <laughs> those are my scissors. Don't play with scissors, kids. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then uh, maybe like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to see more, then uh, just let me know if you enjoy these older reviews or maybe just look at more G3 products. Uh, anything works for me. I just like Bakugan. I just like toys. I'm just a man child. And yeah, that's all for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I can continue this series if I find more deals. But for now, to end this video, let's end it with a picture of... Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. Let's end it with that sick picture of Enoch fighting Cindyus. That's a cool one.